The significance of the Ohio State-Michigan rivalry has been discussed more this year than any other. The reason's simple. The Buckeyes have been dominating the Wolverines. They keep going to BCS Bowls. And Michigan's faded from national relevance with their worst season a year ago and possibly another non-bowl season this year. If they want to go to a bowl game, they'd have to get by these Buckeyes wearing throwback unis. First quarter, Michigan's first drive. Things not going well for Tate Force Ye. He loses the ball. Cameron Hayward all over like white on rice. He recovers it in the end zone. 7-0 Ohio State. Jim Tressel checking out a strategy that he would employ in the second quarter. Where it's now 7-3 and Brandon Sane goes insane in the membrane with a 29-yard run. 14-3 Ohio State. In the second half and the third quarter, Michigan would score to make it 14-10. It was really competitive at that point, but Ohio State comes right back. Boom Heron. Boom goes the dynamite. Catches the screen. 12 yards to the end zone. Touchdown. Buckeyes celebrate at the big house again. Tressel is now 8-1 against the Wolverines. 21-10 the final. Brian Krupp was there, and he is here with more. So after spending an entire year working on things like execution and not making mistakes, the biggest play of the biggest game of the Ohio State season was a mistake. You're going to laugh, but... The first one you talked about, Sane's touchdown, the uh, student intern, student manager, put the wrong wristband number on the board. So that was not the play we called. He called that. <laughs> Just being honest. What happened was they wrote a number up on the board for us to check our, our play sheets, obviously, and then they brought it down and added like a four to the front of the number, which completely is a different play right. out there. So we just went out and did that. Well, the first play was up there long enough that most of the people got the first play, and that's what uh, the majority of everybody else ran, except for like maybe the tight end, a couple of receivers that weren't in the huddle. Uh, in turn, Matt, uh, <laughs> he, he wrote the wrong thing on the board, so we, we was all messed up and ended up working, so maybe he could be a new offensive coordinator sometime down the, down the line someday. You know, I think he must have been told the wrong number. I mean, he wouldn't have just arbitrarily thought that that play was going to work. So somewhere he heard, you know, someone say the wrong wrist number. And so had it not worked, you know, he'd still be our chalkboard guy. Coach Russell said after the game that for the last nine seasons, he's been asking himself, will I ever make it to a Rose Bowl? Well, the answer is finally yes. That'll happen January 1st. Reporting from the Big House, I'm Brian Krupp for Hardcore Sports. Thanks, Brian. Now, of course, Jim Tressel's been criticized several times this year about his conservative play calling. Well, after his fifth straight Big Ten title with his team headed to the Rose Bowl and after another win over Michigan, guess what? The senator was asked again if he felt his play calling was a little conservative in the second half. Seldom have we been accused of being conservative. <laughs> I mean, I don't, you know. Did, that, what did you say? I mean, did, did you say? Yeah, we probably yeah. did, but, you know, as we've said to you many times, we feel as if our number one task on offense is to make sure that our defense is in the best position they can be.